Hey everyone, welcome back to Easy Solutions. Today, we've got a useful tutorial for you, how to repair a portable mini voltage stabilizer. Voltage stabilizers are essential devices that protect your sensitive electronic equipment from voltage fluctuations. But like all electronics, they can sometimes develop issues. Don't worry, we'll show you how to diagnose and fix common problems today. Before we begin, safety first. Ensure you're working in a well-ventilated area, unplug the stabilizer from the power source, and if you're not comfortable working with electronics, consider seeking professional help. Here are the tools and materials you'll need. Screwdriver set multimeter soldering iron and solder replacement components if needed, safety gloves and goggles. Once you've identified the issue, ensure the stabilizer is completely disconnected from the power source. If you find any burnt or damaged components, before we begin, let's understand the issue at hand. When the negative and positive switches disconnect, it can disrupt the stabilizer's functioning, leading to voltage irregularities and potentially damaging your connected devices. So, it's crucial to address this problem promptly. Negative and positive switch disconnect with each other then straighten the strip with the plus and put it in place. After reattaching the strip, reassemble the stabilizer and reconnect it to the power source. Test the unit to ensure that the problem has been resolved and the negative and positive switches are working correctly. If you heard strange noises or the device is overheating, inspect the transformer and the cooling fan. Lubricate or replace the fan, and if the transformer is damaged, you might need a replacement. Conduct a thorough visual inspection of the circuit board for burnt or damaged traces. Repair any damaged traces by soldering. Once you've made the necessary repairs, carefully reassemble the voltage stabilizer, ensuring all components are in their correct positions. Guide viewers through reconnecting wires and components. Explain the importance of proper soldering techniques. Use heat shrink tubing to insulate and protect connections. Show how to reassemble the stabilizer. Stress the importance of checking for loose connections. Discuss safety checks to ensure the stabilizer is safe to use provide any additional tips or best practices. Summarize the key points of the repair process. Thank viewers for watching and encourage them to like, subscribe, and share. Invite viewers to ask questions or share their experiences in the comments section. Carefully solder the strip back in place. Ensure a secure and proper connection by applying solder evenly. After reattaching the strip, reassemble the stabilizer and reconnect it to the power source. Test the unit to ensure that the problem has been resolved and the negative and positive switches are working correctly. 
And there you have it. You've successfully fixed the issue of the negative and positive switches disconnecting in your portable mini voltage stabilizer by straightening the strip with the plus and putting it back in place. Always prioritize safety when working with electronics, and if you're not comfortable with any step, consider seeking professional assistance. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more electronics troubleshooting and repair tutorials. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.